We've gotten our first look at the new Lorville in Star Citizen Alpha 3.19 and CIG did not disappoint. The city has been expanded vastly and they've updated the buildings to the appropriate scale while allowing for gameplay features that will involve building interiors in the future. I'm quite impressed with the new Lorville. For those that are new, I'll give you a quick rundown on what Lorville is. Lorville is a massive city on a planet owned by Hurston Dynamics in the Stanton system. It was built by the Hurston family and is ruled by an authoritarian regime. Despite being polluted and oppressive, Lorville is a bustling hub for players in the game of Star Citizen, offering many services and opportunities for players to engage in various missions. Before we move forward, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of April, a Grey Cat STV. All you gotta do to participate is to subscribe and leave a comment on any video within the month of April. Let's move on. The city's central business district is overseen by the Hurston family and the spaceport is a major hub for transit lines. There are multiple areas and districts within the city, each representing different classes of residents. The inner city has areas where there is more health with gold clad buildings and lower areas that are closer to industrial areas. Lowville is mainly a residential and commercial with many opportunities for branding and partnerships. Players can explore the many different areas and take on various missions with hospitals, shops, and other services available to them. The city continues to expand and grow with new areas being added in the upcoming update. While at being a harsh and oppressive place, Lorville offers a unique experience for players in Star Citizen with a thriving and brutal cityscape that would make the old Solomon Hurston proud. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.